Okay, so interestingly enough, uh, apparently all this has been seen before, uh, like the image on the video. He's coming out just like this. The only one that sees that is the one that he's connected to. So the fact that it's been publicized in an image shows that all of this was already kind of predetermined that this all this would happen. And my own, uh, I guess, disbelief in the Sheol going down there would only prompt me to want to flood it out, which is actually already prophesized with the Mickey Mouse uh, uh, fireman suit. So all this stuff's already d predetermined. He's hanging out of the sun, just like the image. And then he's like, uh, I don't know if he was worried about me or something, like, uh, like I was working hard or something, or maybe he was getting like antsy. But uh, it shows up like an eclipse shows all the suns. So whoever your your Pinal Glen character is or whoever will show up and then start to form. And uh, and he was uh, basically showing me uh, Mickey Mouse ears on top of himself, like kind of like a hat. So anytime I get close to the end, he always kind of does that. Another thing I notice is that he can do this with his eyes or he can do that like the... Uh, the other versions of them. And uh, same with Mr. Cheeks. And I uh, noticed that uh, the other cherubs do that too. So it kind of threw me off a little bit when I seen Gadriel with cartoon eyes. I was like, your eyes are kind of like a cartoon. But I was kind of like stuck like, are they like a cartoon or is it like human? Or I just didn't understand. Like I was just confused. But now I'm starting to see the shape shifting uh is uh, very interesting. Like you can have any kind of eyes or something like that. Well, anyways, my biggest culprit is that the final layer is salt. So salt comes out of the eyes and it burns the eyes. Immediately you notice that it's uncomfortable. So what you do is you just get rid of the salt. So what I did is for the next few days, I'm just gonna fast a little bit with just a salt-free type diet. What did I put in it? I put uh, mushrooms that are kind of smelly a little bit. And I put cucumber from the garden, basil from the garden, which is astounding, by the way. I can't believe how good the cucumber is. I'm just like, damn, this shit is some really good-ass cucumber. So then some uh, tomatoes in there and uh, some onion, a little bit of curry, and uh, balsamic vinegar, which is just grapes for a minute. It's no salt, zero sodium. But it tastes salty anyway. So creating a salty flavor without salt is possible so i'm just showing you what i put in it if you just want to kind of take those ingredients down if you want to eat that some people ask what i'm eating so yeah but uh yeah it's happening right now it's literally already laid out predetermined because he's hanging out of the sun just like those images i've seen uh, as of recently so it's all forming like george <laughs> stay tuned for more grim nasty tv and get rid of the salt if you can, because that's like, uh, you know, like the naked man in the alley that flashes. It's like the naked man disappears, and all you got is a jacket. So turpentine is glue's worst enemy, because the the turf I used to put on the bus would always come up every time turpentine was spilled on it or kerosene. So the glue's worst enemy is the turpentine. The salt is the worst enemy. Is I guess food choices perhaps. And then maybe how much you sweat. So you have to like extra 